Hello everyone, my name is Phil Todd and today I'm going to talk about word stress and intonation during presentations. First, some definitions. Stress is the emphasis given to a syllable in a word or words within a sentence and usually involves an increase in volume and a change in intonation. Intonation is the way the voice goes up or down while speaking. Stress and intonation are used for a variety of purposes in English. When presenting, they are often used to make the important content of your talk clear. Often there is a rise in intonation on a key word, but sometimes there is a fall, especially at the end of sentences. The important thing is that there is a contrast in intonation with the words that surround the one you want to stress. Without appropriate stress and intonation, your listeners may miss the points you're trying to make. What's worse, you may end up sounding like a robot. To make it easier for you to understand, I'm going to say a short sentence without stressing any of the key words and with no intonation. OK, here it is. My name's Phil Todd and I work at the English Language Centre. Would you want to continue listening to me if I spoke like that? I don't think so. OK, here's the same sentence with the key words stressed. My name's Phil Todd and I work at the English Language Centre. Much better, right? OK, so now I'm going to say a short introduction. First, read through the introduction in your notes. Underline two words in each sentence that you think should be stressed. To help you do this, try to identify which two words carry the most important information. Understand? So, now pause the video. When you're ready, start the video again. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. We're delighted to be able to present to you today. My name's Phil, and I'd like to introduce my partner, James. We're both studying design. OK, let me ask you a question. How many of you own a smartphone? Please put up your hand if you do. Well, it seems that nearly all of you own one. OK, now let me show you a picture. This is the first smartphone. It was invented in 1992 by IBM. Now the question is, are they safe to use? Well, this is the aim of our presentation today. Is frequent use of smartphones harmful to us? We've divided the presentation into four parts. First, I'll talk about how we use smartphones in our daily life. I'll then outline the arguments that support the statement. James will then present the arguments against it. He'll also give a brief conclusion. Our presentation will last for around 10 minutes. We welcome any questions that you may have at the end. OK, that was the introduction. If you need to hear it again, rewind the video by about 30 seconds. If not, pause the video now and double check your answers. Once you're ready, play the video from here and you will hear the introduction again and also see the correct stress. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. We're delighted to be able to present to you today. My name's Phil, and I'd like to introduce my partner, James. We're both studying design. OK, let me ask you a question. How many of you own a smartphone? Please put up your hand if you do. Well, it seems that nearly all of you own one. OK, now let me show you a picture. This is the first smartphone. It was invented in 1992 by IBM. Now the question is, are they safe to use? Well, this is the aim of our presentation today. Is frequent use of smartphones harmful to us? We've divided the presentation into four parts. First, I'll talk about how we use smartphones in our daily life. I'll then outline the arguments that support the statement. James will then present the arguments against it. He'll also give a brief conclusion. 
Our presentation will last for around 10 minutes. We welcome any questions that you may have at the end. Right, for more help with word stress and intonation, visit SIL in A305 and Z213. And go to the SIL Facebook page. Scan the QR code or click the link below the video.